Hi guys, in this video we're going to be dealing with numbers in SQL and I've got here a query which uh, uh, binds multiple or joins multiple tables together and uh, gets uh, specific fields from those various tables and these are the results. And now I wish to sort that data first by race and then by points descending, team and surname. And the sorting here looks a bit weird. And the reason for that is because all data is text. It's been set as text. And when you sort text, that's the way you get like a one is before a two. And that's a one zero, not a 10. So now if I wish, and, and uh, before I proceed that in most databases, most of the content is set as text because text is the cheapest. Um, it is often cheaper than those uh, big number formats or dates or so and so on. So basically, most databases put them at most databases I've seen put them as text. Put most of the content as text, and then it's your job as the developer be it in SQL or in a program calling that database to you know, make sure that you convert that text to a number. And that's the same thing we're gonna be doing here. And um, let's start with race because to fix that, now I need to convert race to a number. The way I you do that is you use the keyword cast and I go with cast and then um, what, what happens here is that uh, I have the races and then as what, what do I convert them to? What kind of number? Well, there are multiple types, but the most common type is int, short for integer. And that converts now that content, which to us looks like a number, but is actually text with cast. You basically convert that to uh, a number. And if I run the query now, you will see the sorting is now what we expect, basically according, this is now a numerical sorting or not a textual sorting. The same thing can be done with, uh, with position. And um, uh, race three, yeah, and then here again as int. And uh, same thing with the result points. And then you'll see we will get then the uh, sorting that we uh, basically seek or expected. And now I have here the races, the positions, and the points, and they are also descending. Right. And actually, I'm not sorting by position at all. I'm just sorting by points. Right. Great. Uh, so that's one reason for uh, converting, um, uh, you know, uh, content, whatever it is, to um, mainly text to numbers, and one way is is, is to integers. Uh, now with points, I, I know for a fact that some races get, uh, um, you know, they get halted before the midpoint of that race. So those drivers, due to weather conditions, and so on, so those drivers would get half points. So the winner would not get 25, but like 12.5. This The second guy would get nine and so on. So uh, thus here, um, for points, integer is not, or int is not enough. You'd have to take it a notch further and, and, and uh, enable a conversion to um, real numbers, basically decimals containing, which could potentially contain decimals. And uh, the type for that is decimal. And mind you, int is common in all database engines, be it uh, Postgres, SQL Server, SQLite. But uh, you'd have to see uh, what what is what is what is uh, what is the um, real number or decimal format in the package you're using. I know for a fact that in SQLite and Postgres it is uh, decimal. Um, I can't remember what it was in SQL Server. Was it float? I can't remember. I have, uh, I have you always have to look up at the documentation of the of the engine you're using to basically uh, you know cast your your data to 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 that to that point. If I'm not mistaken, it's float. And um, so now with decimal, I can I can basically cater for the case of uh, for the eventuality that uh, drivers get half points. 
And actually, there was a race where half points uh, were, and that is a race in 1984. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, let's check it out. Let's run that query. And there you go, that's 1984. And there you go, that was round six. You can see here, they got half points. And now we're able to show them because we've done decimal. Look, look what happens if I turn that back to int and run query. And you see now I've lost the decimals and there's no rounding taking place. The decimals just got anything behind the decimal point just got dumped. And um, that would be an error. So you have to always be very careful about your, you know, what could your data be? I mean, obviously a race could not have you know, the race number is, is, is complete numbers, it's integers. Uh, same thing for position, you could not have half a position. But with points, you have to be careful. And, and thus, uh, here, decimal is, um, int is not enough, but you have to take the uh, decimal. So that's one thing why we need numbers for the sorting. But a more important uh, uh, reason to need numbers is for calculations. And let's, let's do a simple example. Let's say <clears throat> that... Um, every driver gets a thousand, uh, you know, dollars or euros per point. How do I calculate that? Well, I can go like this and say, what happens if I say like results dot points? That's basically the field uh, times a thousand, and call that field bonus. What happens? So if I run that, actually, before I run it. It shouldn't calculate. It shouldn't calculate because this is a text. It has not yet been cast to a decimal, and hence the calculation shouldn't work. And we see here that it works. It works in SQLite, and SQLite is pretty tolerant with that. But SQLite is not. If you if you're going to be working on a heavy duty database engine, SQLite is not your tool. So here. This code here would break in another engine. Let me take that. Let's go over to another engine. And here we're in Postgres. And you see here I've run the query. And it is telling me uh, something wrong with that. And it's pointing right here. And that's, that's because it does not or refuses to multiply text with a number. So that's why here we've got to cast that at decimal and we can basically just copy that code from above copy it and paste it in here and now if i run the query you'll see it works perfectly so basically uh, at the end of the day if you have content which looks like a number and should be treated like a number and can potentially be used in calculations then your job is to then cast it to the right type of number and that could be an int that could be a decimal or if it looks like a date that would be a date and the process is always the same you're always using cast